NorkJS API for JavaScript provides a set of feature-rich widgets. And I'm here to show you just a few enhancements that are coming in the next release. Coordinate conversion is a new widget that allows me to convert coordinates as I move the mouse around the, the map. I can add multiple output formats, such as degrees, minutes, seconds, and MGRS for a much more streamlined for workflow. By using capture mode, I'm able to click around the map, and wherever I click will be used as an input coordinate and converted. If I also had uh, a text version of an input coordinate, I can do and can just go ahead. For example, if someone sends me an email with an MGS, MGRS coordinate, I can go ahead and copy it, paste it over, select the type, and I can also convert it from, from here. And even better, I can actually go to the location. So I want to bring your attention to how fast this widget is updating as it's performing its calculations. Let's take a look at the network request. So there's nothing coming in. So this is because this widget is using the projection engine that Jan showed a little bit earlier. And it allows the widget to provide a much mo uh, very smooth experience by performing all the operations in the browser. In this next demo, you can see that the layer list was enhanced to give you more control in your applications, because you can now provide custom content with panels. Panels are displayed right below layer list items, and they can be toggled off or on. They accept uh, HTML elements or widget instances as their content type. For example, in this demo, I have two layers that are coming from different ArcGIS Online items. And I went ahead and created information panels that show the item's description, when it was last updated, as well as links to the item page as, and service URL. Now, I mentioned how the widget instance can also be used as the content for a panel. So this means that it makes it now easier than ever to display the legend inside of my layer list. So let's take a look at the code to make this work. So I have here, I'm creating my layer list widget, and I'm passing along a process list item function that will be invoked every time a list item is created. When this item is created, I am setting the panel to be to use this uh, info panel I showed you earlier. That's actually next, next to the demo right here, next to the code. And I'm also making sure that it's open by default. And I also specify a custom action to set the legend as content. Inside of this cu custom action, you can see that all I'm doing is going through the layer list items and setting the pal panel content type to legend. This tells the layer list widget to use the legend widget to create it for me and place it in the content, uh, in the panel's content area. It's just as simple as that. Speaking of legend, in this next demo, you will see a new display option that's coming to the legend. This is a new card style, and it's a horizontal design for the legend, and it shows cards with visuals from the layer's rendering. Cards produced from the same layer will be grouped. So you can see here I have two groups, one for the code violation complaints that are open, and one for the ones that are closed. Now, in my demos, I showed just a few highlights of the, some of the enhancements that are coming in the next release of the API. We invite you to check it out and let us know what you think. Thank you.